Hey everybody, this is Organic Dairyman. How's everybody doing today? Uh, today is September 4th, or Tuesday, September 4th. And anyways, um, I just wanted to talk to you guys today about something. Um, we had, um, we, we've had, had a couple cows that, um, I don't know, they came, the last couple days, they came down with hardware and um, for those of you who don't know what hardware is it's not like it's it's not a disease um, what it is 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 when a, a cow they ingest metal um, like it doesn't matter even if it's you know it just depends on the severity of of the hardware but anyways they invent and they ingest this metal and it, you know it, it could be a small pokey piece of metal and it goes down in into their stomach and you know one of their stomach compartments and it pokes a hole in there and um, anyways it can make them not feel very good I mean, their stomach gets sore and it depends on like the shape of the metal if it's a blunt piece of metal or a or like a real pokey piece but um, usually it's a smaller piece of metal and anyways so we had a couple cows um, come down with hardware one cow just had a real mild case of it another cow has a more severe case of it and you know, I hope I hope this cow is gonna she's gonna pull through and make it. I think she will. Um, but um, it was just really affecting her um, yesterday, especially yesterday morning. She couldn't, she could hardly walk. It was just like hurting so bad inside her. And usually, how you can tell when they have it right away is um, usually the first thing is they go off feed. They're down on milk. Uh, when you rub their spine, you rub their spine, they'll they'll sit there and they arch their spine down. Normally they'll do that. If they don't do that, it's because it hurts in their stomach and hurts in there. So that's just a good indication that the animal might have hardware. So anyways, um, it can, you know, you're probably thinking, well, where does this metal come from? It can come from different things. Um, usually the biggest thing it can come from is like when we're out chopping hay or something, you're running the head on the ground. Maybe you pick up an old piece of barbed wire, a little piece of barbed wire. It could be that you end up the chopper and you chops it up a little bit it gets mixed in with the feed and honestly I'm standing right here by the feeder wagon and um, I'm just going to show you as an example yeah we have a uh, feed in here a uh, halage in here and yeah there could be a little piece of metal in here so what, do, what are you going to do to um, catch a piece of metal well this feeder wagon in itself did not come with any magnets in, in there so anyways yesterday um, I took the liberty of going to the farm store and I decided that well I'm just gonna buy some magnets so I bought uh, one of these magnets here I put a magnet on the riser chain I think I'm gonna get a couple more and space them out so um, and put another one in, in another spot a couple spots on this riser chain and then I took some and put it some on this auger here I don't know how well you can see these but um, I put yeah three of them one there and then one up towards the front of the auger so um, it is increasing the chances that it's going to catch metal. Um, obviously, you can't put it anywhere else. You can't put it here because the chain will move up, and you can't put it down there on the bottom because it's always sweeping it clean. So you have to put it in some place, and that's the only spot I can put it. Um, but like in this case, I don't think you could have too many magnets on this thing. Um, but yeah, um, so like. Yeah, you could have a little piece of metal in there, and and you wouldn't, you never know. And uh, that cow, the cow, they'll they'll um, obviously ingest that, and you have uh, problems. But I know sometimes too, like on this feed wagon, you get little like this, like a side here, it can get a little rusty, and you get little flakes of rust, and that can cause problems too. And I did find some rust on here already, so I know it's I know it's this magnet is working. The other Megan should work. They're supposed to pick up 65 pounds of weight, so they should pick up something. Maybe I could even put more in there. Um, like I say, you can't put too many too many magnets in this thing, and and so yeah, we kind of had um, kind of had a, had an issue with that. Um, we've had you know um, we've had hardware in the past before, so um, it's not the first time it's happened, but. Um, it would probably help too, like if the, the, the forage harvester that we we're using, if it had um, like one of those metal alert things on there, like a little fleck of metal goes in, it will stop the head, boom, just like that. 
Um, that one cutter that we were using does not have that. The self propelled that he does use does have it, but it wasn't working. It's not functioning currently right now. And so, um, but yeah, if you ever get a forage harvester, the best thing is to get one of those metal alert in there. So that way, if any metal goes in, it will stop the head. So that, you know, that helps prevent hardware. But like I say, um, it can come from a lot of different things. Like even this, like I say, even the rust in this feed wagon can cause it, you know, depending on how, how the shape of the rust or whatever it is. So, um, yeah, like I'm just doing, trying to figure out a way how to how to um, keep the rust out. And you're probably wondering too, how, when your cow does have hardware, how do you stop hardware? How do you cure it? Well, it's this thing here, cow magnet. You give them one of these and this will stay in them the rest of their life. And you just give them with a pill gun, you know, push it down their throat with a pill gun and this will go in there and it will um, hopefully find the metal you know moving around in the stomach it will eventually find find the metal and it'll latch onto it so it won't keep poking its stomach but this is pretty much the only thing that you can do for them you can give them two magnets if you if you feel that would be better and you can give them a little aspirin for like you know if it's the pain and stuff so it helps make them feel better and usually we give them a little magnolax kind of the equivalent of pep abysmal stuff too so it helps them to um, loosen up the manure to loosen up so they can um because usually the, the manure will get kind of stiff and so you got to get their manure moving through them and stuff so um but yeah that magnet it will never come out of them it will stay in them the rest of their life and that's that's the only thing that will that will fix the problem is a magnet and, and time so you know i i invested like yesterday about 28 dollars into all those magnets so um, you think about the lost milk production usually it depends on the severity of the of the hardware if it's like um, You know really bad it can take up to two weeks for them to recover and You know if you got a cow that's averaging 80 pounds even you got a cow that's giving hundred pounds of milk You know, you know it takes two weeks, you know, that's what You know, that's 1400 pounds of milk right there and you do the math on that and, and you know especially like if, Obviously, if you're organic, your milk price is going to be a little higher. So, yeah, it's going to be, you know, you add up the dollar signs there and it, um, you know, it all adds up. So, those magnets, $28, they pay for themselves in a hurry. And like I say, I might even, put, I'm going to put some more in there and I'm going to try to fix, hopefully, so we, you know, we don't have this happen again because it's kind of a pain when it happens. Um, but, you know... Usually like even like our, our feed mill that we use that has magnets on there. So when the stuff goes in the feed feed mill it, it'll it will get the, the hardware out of there or the metal. It'll catch the metal. You know, it's not gonna catch aluminum, it's not gonna catch copper or brass or anything like that. If it's glass or a pokey peak up po pokey piece of plastic, it's not gonna get that. But um, usually metal, you know that that is the main thing you have a problem with you know usually glass is very rare that you ever have glass unless somehow somebody threw a beer bottle out in your field and you didn't see it like yeah you know we have hay fields along the road you know how people are they whip a beer beer bottle out into the out, off out into the, the road and it flies in the field and you didn't see it and you run over it and you crush it and you pick it up with your hay head that happens that's why I hate that when people throw beer bottles out like that on the road or they throw them out and they go in the ditch or whatever. And even even beer cans, the wind blows them out and you can pick them up. It's so you get aluminum in there. So that's that's what happens sometimes. But um, you do your best. And I'm just taking preventative measures here by putting those magnets in there. And probably should have had them in there sooner. But, um, but I decided to share that with you, with everybody. And... Um, like I say, you can you know cows can get hardware like that. It just it just happens. There's nothing you can do about it. But always I mean, all you can do is prevent it. Try to do your best to prevent it from happening, and that's what we're doing here by putting those magnets in there. So, anyways, I think that's gonna be it for this video. Um, so um, please, um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Have any questions? Drop it down in the comment section below. Um, please hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. Check me out on Instagram and Twitter at Organic Dairyman. And um, what else? Oh, yeah. Thank you, everybody, for watching this video. Thank you for everybody that subscribed to my channel. And I will catch you later.